What's up guys? It's your girl Nicole and I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, I know it's been a while and we've been MIA, but just forgive us. Life happens and you know we weren't putting this as our top priority. But you girl, you know, I thought about you guys and I was like, it's definitely time for them to get a video. And you know, I've been learning new hairstyles and you know, growing up. So I was like, why not keep them in the loop? So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm happy to be back. I got a little bit of extra time in my life right now. So I do plan to be posting a little bit more, but you know, just leave in the comments what you guys expect to see from me. I mean, you're really gonna just love this video. I mean, who wouldn't love a hairstyle like this that you can get for like $13 and have it done in under like five to 10 minutes. Like it's a good deal. And I look good. like. So for this video, you really don't need much. So these are the things that you'll need. First and foremost, we definitely have to have that um, Janet Collection ponytail piece. You can get whatever kind you prefer. I specifically got that Afro Coily String version in the color PFS 1B slash 30. And that gave it a little bit of brown that I needed to um, go with my particular hair color. But they had a whole bunch of different hair colors um you definitely will need your eco styler gel and of course the handy toothbrush to get those edges laid down you just need your typical brush comb some bobby pins i used about five a hair tie and a spray bottle or you could just run your hand under water whatever works for you but not many um ingredients at all i would also say that you definitely want to wear a tank top for the doing your hair process just to make it easier when you finally get ready to change later on all right so today i'm going to show you guys how to go from this just a basic need some um attention hairdo to this uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. I mean, this hairstyle can be done in under five minutes. Really easy, very simple. I love it when I'm going out. Um, even for like a more casual look, just a nice, sweet, sexy look that you can achieve for cheap and very fast. So let's jump right in. So first, we are going to go ahead and take this down. You got a scrunchy tie here. Ooh, honey, and I mean, my hair is like three weeks out from having something done to it. It looks terrible. Just don't mind it. But it's okay because if I had to go out right now, I would be ready. So if I'm not looking at the camera, don't be, you know, concerned. It's all right. I'm just looking at the mirror here so I can actually give y'all some quality work. Right. First, we want to wet the hair. You can use a spray bottle, um, something like that, but if it's not coming out like I want it to, then I'll go ahead and just uh, run my hand into the water. Because you don't really want to do too much because we're going to use a lot of gel, um, but you do want to get a little bit of gel. So let me get some water on here. And yes, I do have a cast on my hand. That tells you how easy that this is, but I can do it with three fingers on this hand, okay? And you want to just get it uh, a decent amount of wetness, not nothing too much, just to give it some more moisture because I am doing this on older hair, so I do need some uh, moisture to it. Alright. And for this look, you can do um, a straight back ponytail or you can choose to do a part on the left or the right. Per personally, I prefer to have a part. So I already had it parted because I did wear this hairstyle not too long ago. And I like to put kind of like a rounder part to it here. So it gives it some division. And guys, don't mind me. This is my first hair tutorial YouTube video. So it may not be the best, but it's going to give you the results that you need. So all right. I got it kind of detangled a bit and I got some um, water on it. I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick brush because like I said it is an older hair that I'm working on and uh, it needs to go ahead and be wetted and start it over a little bit. 
and you want to make sure the top is very smooth. You want to make sure that your part is exactly how you want it. Um, I don't really dwell on, you know, pers like I'm not that precise on everything. It really doesn't matter who the fuck's looking at your head that much. But I like to get it, you know, decent. I don't want to look crazy. So that's the part that I'm going with. Just a little side part with clear division here. And then I got that little piece right there. Again, maybe crooked, but it's all right. Just so you got a section of hair going to the front. All right. Now, we're going to come in with the Eco Stylist Gel. And with that, we are going to um, slick this hair down just a little bit more. Because you want this area to be as slick as it can be because this is a very professional classy uh, kind of outfit I mean hairstyle so I'm just gonna take a little dab and I mean literally like a little dab you don't want your hair to be overly greasy and plus if you don't get it in the right spots I feel like um, once it dries it can be very hard and that's not cute either and you just want to put it in all of the right spots just on the top and if you got you know, some problems in the kitchen, girl. Put your little dab in the kitchen. Oh, it's a little dab. So we can have a, a foundation. And you'll notice immediately, I mean immediately, how soft your hair feels. So then we're going to go again with the brush. And because I've already done this hairstyle and my hair has product built up in it, I don't have to constantly um, add water and stuff. But if your hair is a little bit drier, um, I do spray my brush with um, leave-in conditioner spray, um, the Shea Moisture leave-in conditioner spray. Or I may use the um, spray bottle again or just some more gel. Anything to really get my hair slick. But I didn't really need that much because I did just do this hairstyle. You're holding your hair, sculpting it as you go. You do want to keep this distinct part going frontwards, okay? And it takes a second, but it's alright. Perfection does not happen overnight, honey. And you just want to just sculpt it to the right directions. And now, you'll see here I have some shorter pieces in the front, but it's alright. It's okay, we're going to get it. So you just, I would just break it down a little bit more. So that piece won't be so, uh, in a, such in a weird spot. So you see how it already kind of made it stand back a little bit. Awesome. And I'm going to flatten it out. You want it as flat as can be. Like slick down flat as can be. Okay. And if you got to comb over a couple times. I mean you don't want to be excessive. Now, the goal is not to break your hair. It's to be quick, cute, and sassy. I'm going to go ahead and secure this. I'm not mad at it. Um, I'm going to correct it in a moment. So we're making a ponytail back here. But instead of leaving it in a ponytail, we're going to turn it around into a ball. I'm going to show you in a second. So you see kind of this is the rough draft of what we're working with. So what I like to do at this point is when I, this is the sculpting process. You want to make sure that you are on the money that you completely love the placement of your hair. Um, so I'm just going to go back through and make sure that this line is really on point like I want it. Make sure that I don't have any gaps in my hair right here. Just get it real smooth. Alright. Now like I'm ready for the military ball. And this piece of hair right here, you just leave that down. Because we're going to manipulate that in a second for some nice little baby hairs. Alright. So now, at this point, I'm satisfied with the placement of everything. It looks good. I ain't mad at it. think we can work with it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I want to go ahead and get my edges together. I know some people do that at the end, but I like to do it now. So I get my toothbrush, wet it a little bit, just a little bit, not even anything to be dripping, you know, just a little dab. And I take a little dab of it into here, just like that literally nothing up there and I pull from there like that and 
and I found on YouTube before somebody um, gave some great advice with baby hairs. You always want to go kind of like beyond the part, um, even though this is our real, real hair and no one would have to question it. It just gives that more natural look to it if your hair is coming out of from um, where this part is, you know. And we're not going to do anything too major because we are already going to be slick and sexy. So we really don't have to do too much. You know? Like, look at that. Easy. Then this side, since it's covering up everything, you I don't really do anything up here. I've seen people kind of like bend it in here, but I don't. I just manipulate this here. Nothing too much, just literally that. And maybe I'll pick at it a little bit so I have a little coil piece. But I want it to be kind of flat tonight just to give it a sleek and simple look. I'm not trying to do too much because we're in a rush, right? All right. Boom. That's all set. Now on to the big part. I got the Afro Coily String in the color PFS1B slash 30. That one. And I got that because as you can see here, I got the little bit of color in my hair. So I do want to get make it more um, real, as realistic as can be. So this is my girl Shaka right here. I let her hold my little hair pieces when I ain't using them. They keep from getting mad at Alright. If she'll let it go, I mean I ain't. And I keep it in the net. Um it comes in a um the wig comes in a net inside the box. I keep it inside of the net so that way when I'm not using it, it doesn't be it doesn't um sitting there gathering dust or ruining because I mean for twelve dollars at your local beauty store you really can't beat it. It's a nice hair piece, but at the same time, twelve dollars you don't wanna just have it for a one time use thing, you know. So this is what she looks like. I got the net off of her. And now I haven't um, experienced putting any moisture or anything on her um, to, to redefine the curls. Because I just love this afro look. That's exactly why I got this particular string. But, I, I mean, you might be able to spray it with something. I don't know. But I just didn't. I like it the way it is. And inside, this is it has a drawstring. And it has two cones, if you can see those. And I determined the top and bottom like this. The top comb has a little tag on it. So I figured, like a shirt, the tag will be at the top. So, let's do this. Alright, you got your little ball back here. And the drawstring also is on this side. It's just like an old school book bag drawstring. You just squeeze it and pull it and tighten it. All right. So we're gonna hold it by that top comb. Let me get all the hair out of the way. And you see the comb. If you can. And you stick it right above your bun. Just like that. And I mean, immediately it is locked in. I can feel it. feels like claws in my hair. But it's alright. We're going to pick the bottom half up. And I know it's hard to see from this angle. But that, remember the bottom half of that clip? I'm just picking it right up and I'm sticking it into the bottom of my bun now. Ooh, her knee is tight. And over here is my drawstring and I am just squeezing it like an old school book bag, duffel bag, squeezing it tight and now I have this string here. I mean it is tight on my head and I just take the string and go around and I have seen some people who decide to um, put the, do the draw, drawstring around their hair or they'll um, pick hair from the bottom like of the actual piece, braid it up and twist it around the hair but I just didn't think it was necessary um, for this specific piece because it really with the drawstring and the two combs it really holds your hair I mean tight you really can't get no tighter than that no matter what I do today she's not moving um, when I did go out with her in I did um, use a couple of bobby pins to keep it in place in place being that um, I was going to be dancing and stuff like that but since I'm not doing that right now, I'm not going to put the bobby pins in. But if you were to, I just put the bobby pins right around this part of the hair. And just stick it right in. Kind of like through the wig cap piece of it. I just fluff this out. 
Make sure everything is in the direction I want it to be in. And there you have it. A nice, simple look for literally $12. But you can wear it over and over again. I mean, and it's so simple. Look at that. I love it. So now let me change and put it all together and really show you how this little piece really made my outfit. Alright, and this is how I chose to style this look. Normally, um, I could do like a red lip or something like that, but it's just so simple and so cute. Like, you can rock it like this. Like, how could you not love this? I think it's beautiful. Like, Janet Collection, sponsor me, baby, because this is a phenomenal hair piece. Like very beautiful very much a natural feel to it and it doesn't do too much but it does just enough okay like i love how um cute and simple this hairstyle was literally under five minutes i would recommend it to anyone in a rush you can do it with a cast on your hand really simple i mean but effortlessly beautiful love it so thank you so much for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it and it was as good as promised. But I mean, I think you cannot beat this. The simplicity is real. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, definitely if you like it, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see from me. I definitely will try to get it out there for you guys. Well, I'll see y'all next time.